Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video guys. The patch notes for the next update are out so today we're going to be reacting to those patch notes with the update that should probably uh, come out tomorrow is my expectation. Tomorrow Wednesday is usually when we get the update so uh, like I said patch notes is out. We're going to take a look at those patch notes and we're going to say what we think but before we get into that guys if you are level 15 or below make sure to use the promo code the start code to get ten dollars worth of free stuff to do so it is very simple you go in settings you use a promo code and you enter the word starko s-t-a-r-k-o you press ok and if you are level 15 or below and never used any other promo codes before for dragon champion you will receive ten dollars worth of free stuff which include 500 track wins and 250,000 gold, which is a huge help early on in the game to help you progress as fast as possible. So, guys, promo code Starco. Now, with that said, let's jump into the patch note right away. So, patch note version version. Wow, can I say this 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 word right now? But whatever. Uh, version uh, 1.2.41 coming this week usually uh, update happens between either Wednesday or Thursday and it looks like this one is gonna happen on Thursday uh, new difficulty tier for Erekar Madness Gilraid and even new looks for Erekar himself a new season new hero balance improvements for buff bug squashing and an ants visual effect all in this week patch so uh, yeah new raid guys Finally, for people who were bored with the current raid or uh, could not even participate in the tier 7 raid because it was dying just too fast, well, those people will not have tier 8 raid to actually get wrecked, and uh, most people will not be able to complete it, but uh, that's the fun part of it. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at the general information here. New difficulty tier for Eric, Guild Raid a Rocker, Madness 8, a true challenge for the experienced guild with better rewards. The expectation here is that uh, the top 50 guilds are going to be able to uh, clear this raid on a regular basis. That's kind of the expectation. That's kind of what I think that's going to happen. Uh, but hopefully uh, we can include more than just the top 50 guild. I'm I'm really hoping that, you know, top maybe 150 guilds will be able to actually compete in there. I think that will be awesome. But we're going to have to wait and see the level. Um, definitely we'll see how uh, guilds are actually going to come together and uh, progress into that tier 8 raid. Uh, Erekar the Dragon now has several new looks for every uh, difficulty level of the error car madness skill rate is actually a sneak peek the uh they posted uh not too long ago on the discord server taken uh i think it was in uh devlogs yeah, and if you go on the Discord server, the official Discord server, and you look at devlog, you're going to be able to see it. Uh, I can, actually, I can actually bring it here just for you there. Uh, so you have eight different looks. So each look uh, is for uh, each tier of the rate. Now, with that with that said, with that done, let's move to the next point. Season half arrow begin the September 1st. So a new characters Garrett will be available through the season of arrow and as soon as the season of arrow is released guys we're going to be reviewing the full season talking about the rewards and of that in that season uh, talking about the that season by the way guys uh, corridor welcome new hero Garrett order human fighter ranger uh, available from season of arrow in a, sp a special season yeah, so apparently we're gonna be able to actually maybe get him to seven stars on the on the first month. That'll be nice, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We're gonna have to wait and see. Usually it's five stars when the season is out, and when the season is over it to uh, seven stars uh, but yes Garrett is gonna be an awesome character guys is actually gonna be a, a meta in the game I can already tell you that and uh, the day before he is released with the season of arrow we're gonna be re releasing uh, our Garrett review from the test server 
Uh, and it's visual for new heroes summoning. Uh, so when you summon heroes, you're gonna have the enhanced uh, visual. I, I, I have no idea. We're gonna have to test that out when we get uh, both uh, the regular server and the test server updated to actually see the summoning uh, visual that are new. We're gonna take a look at that definitely. Uh, balance changes. We have a buff. Uh, remove a stun from possible buff, uh, debuff in dice throw, so a little nerf on uh, the stun, but a little buff on the uh, possible buff from the dice throw because uh, you will not be able to apply weak as characters anymore. So pretty much a little nerf and a little buff in the dice throw, which is going to even out the ability, but make it more reliable for uh, not applying. Um, the town, for example, you're not going to be applying town to Kira, which can actually screw you up, or to Mordum, that can really screw you up if that happens. So that's going to be pretty awesome for buff, and removing the stun will make it a lot less annoying to fight buff. So I'm really liking this little adjustment. I still wish that buff will be a little bit weaker, uh, but I think that is a very nice change for buff. Uh, Kegi, Alliance of Winds. Passive ability, so increase magic damage by 30%. And if Boraz is in the party when the battle starts, Kegi and Boraz can dodge increase for two turns. Used to be damage increase for two turns. And personally, I think that um, this change is worthless uh, because the issue with Kegi is not the damage. HP Kagi HP is terrible. His damage is decent. It, it could use a little buff, but his damage is not that bad. But the HP of Kagi is the second lowest in the game. Even Solius can one shot Kagi. Solius is the healer, and he can one shot Kagi if he has Nightail on the team. Uh, you get a crit from Chelos, then a crit from a uh, Nightail from the following up attack, uh, include with the you know the basic attack on Salius and then boom Kagi will get one shot so technically Kagi can get one shot and buy a healer that is completely stupid and that little change is not going to fix that okay you have a chance you're gonna dodge the attack which will most likely not happen and your Kagi will be dead in a matter of uh, seconds again so it does not make Kagi more usable sadly uh, I'm not a big fan of this little change personally and next, an Erokar Madness Gill Raid. So, balance changes for Erokar Madness Gill Raid. Increased potency for Gill Bus in Erokar Madness from 10% for Tier 1 to 80% for Tier 8. So, it, they are going to make uh, the bosses a little bit stronger. They are way too weak right now. Uh, it's way too easy to clear, at least to clear the first seven uh, stages so making them a little bit more difficult i think that it's a very very good thing because um raids is getting quite boring right now uh, you need like five people to clear tier seven raid it's kind of ridiculous so yes that's going to be awesome so people cannot compete in tier eight rate yet they're still going to be able to feel uh, somewhat of a challenge in tier seven raid so that's going to be great uh, a rock card, the dragon is now immune to blind in tier 7. Again, that's going to be awesome. No more blinding error card, so it's going to be a little bit harder to kill him. And increase the tenacity by 10% for tier 7 raid bosses, which means you're going to apply uh, less debuff, you're going to uh, do less TMR, uh, which is going to make the boss uh, a little bit harder to kill again. That is a huge, 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 uh, huge um, change that's going to make a uh, tier 7 raid a lot, a lot more fun for most guild. Uh, for guilds that were borderline, barely able to kill it, uh, that's going to suck for them. But most people are doing tier 7 raids right now. They're just too strong for that raid. So that is awesome changes. Uh, and awesome quality of life improvement. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, next, we have some bug bug fixes uh, fix 10 premium chests of bonus dragons that were not being added properly uh, fix the equip all button uh, i don't know what's wrong with the equip all button uh, i guess there are somebody uh, some people were having issues with it uh, event chests now remain visible until the end of the in the uh, fix crashes that occur open opening artifact chests which i did not have that issue but 
that's going to be great for people who were having that issues, definitely. Then uh, we have the new characters here, uh, Garrett or Order Human Fighter Ranger. Uh, we're going to go with the ability here. The first ability is Surprise Arrow. Uh, basic ability, deal 300% of physical damage to an enemy and apply the effect of a pull arrow. A second skill is Dangerous Volley. Uh, four turn cooldown, deal 300% of physical damage to all enemies and apply the effect of a pull arrow. So a lot of damage, lots of damage here, that's pretty great. Uh, third skill, flare, uh, cooldown 3-4, four. so four, four turn cooldown, but at the start of fight it starts with one turn cooldown. Uh, remove all effect of in invisibility from enemies blind, all enemies for one turn. Garrett and all I receive in the currency increase for two turns and Garrett and Eric Shieldbreaker receive a critical damage increase and critical chance increase of four two turns. So uh, countering um, Kira in PvP, Garrett is going to be a meta without a single doubt. So every team playing Demon with Kira, um, you know, you cannot target Mordum because of buff because uh, they are always stealth. Uh, that's not going to happen anymore because uh, all you gotta do is uh, use Garrett ability. I uh, use the flare after cure up up the invisibility, and uh, you are in business. You can kill whatever you want to kill at that point. So uh, Garrett is definitely going to be up there, and his damage is actually pretty amazing. You're gonna see that when we actually move to uh, the review, guys, for this character. And uh, and lastly, we have the ability War Royal Armory, which is the passive ability. At the end of his turn, Garrett pulls out a random arrow from his quiver, possible arrow, sharp, sharp arrow inflicts a bleeding effect, fire arrow inflicts a burn effect, poison arrow uh, inflicts a poison effect, and daze arrow inflicts a daze effect, ice arrow inflicts a slow effect, effect lasts two turns, anti-mage arrow remove all buff, if Eric Shieldbreaker is on the battlefield, Garrett and Eric both gain additional 10% health and speed, which is actually going to be uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so, also uh, for people we were wondering here, uh, apply the effect of a pull arrow uh, on the first skill and second skill. I'm guessing it goes with uh, what th all those effects can actually be uh, from the passive. Uh, I do need to do some more testing with Garrett. Actually, I didn't try yet him yet really. So once I actually get to try him, I'm gonna have a better opinion on what the skills I exactly do. But my guess is that when you use the first skills and the second skills, pretty much, you have a random effect that's gonna be applied to the target if uh, their tenacity then does not counter your potency pretty much that's how i see it so uh, globally this is a very very great um a uh, little update guys uh, a new season a new character finally it's been a while since we had a new character so i am uh, pretty happy about that and finally a character to counter visibility i think that was uh must need and and tier 8 raid coming tier 7 raid um a little buff to the tier 7 rate so it's going to be a little bit more difficult so uh globally those are all amazing changes and uh, well i wish we will have battleground 2 coming out with that but i think uh, i think that's the only thing that that we are missing right now to actually make this a great update it's a good update but not a great update because we are still waiting on the battleground sadly and uh, Apparently, it's getting delayed a little bit. We uh, we were expecting it to, uh, we were expecting to get it by August 1st, but that is not going to happen, guys. There is a delay. Uh, they have nasty bugs that they need to fix. Then we should be getting uh, to uh, the test build for the new battleground um, by the end of the week or next week. So maybe another two weeks or three weeks until the battleground is released, sadly, which makes me very sad because I cannot wait for the new battleground to get released. Anyway, those are the uh, information for the patch that's coming out this week, guys. Uh, hopefully you are excited about this patch. I think this is a very, very great update. Well, very, very good. And I don't want to use the great, great words because of the battleground, but very good update, very good fixes, uh, new stuff that's coming. That's awesome. And uh, that shall improve the quality of life of everybody uh, that is uh, playing Dragon Champion. So, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget, we stream every night, 8.30 p.m. Pacific time uh, for about 90 minutes a day. We're having some fun. Uh, tonight, the stream will be a little bit longer because uh, 
my guild raid will start uh, about when I'm usually ending the stream. So uh, we're going to be able to add guild raid to the stream. Maybe tonight's stream might last around two hours if we're lucky enough. So uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, uh, so you can have access to all my video and all my live stream as soon as we release them. And uh, well, you all enjoy your journey into uh, the world of Dragon Champion, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Thank you.